everyone and welcome back to Makeup Mandala. On today's video, we're doing the final part to our 20 minute or less makeup look series. Now, for today's look, we are doing the family party look. Now, I know we've all been in that situation where we're going to a family party or we're meeting family or whatever it is and we want to look fun but we don't want to go overboard because it's our family, you know. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do today. Now your first step is going to want to make sure that you have all your products set out. So that's going to include concealer, or beauty blender, um, an eyeshadow palette, your base products, everything that you usually use in your makeup daily routine, that's what you're going to have set out. And then of course any hair you have down, you're going to want to make sure to put up. Once that's done, you're going to want to go ahead and grab your primer. Now um, any primer is really acceptable for this because we're just about to go in with concealer um, and it's not like you need a strong under like support system for that um, but I would prefer going with something that's like has a little bit more of a moisturizing dewy touch to it just because you want to make sure that when you're seeing family you can like look all sweet and glowy and happy so I'm just dipping in to the one I've picked out Putting a little bit all across the face. That is set. You're gonna want to go ahead and just pick up your concealer. We're not actually gonna be using foundation for this look uh, because, again, when you choose like the right places to put your concealer, it like creates just as flawless of a base as it would be using foundation. Now, of course, you're gonna want to hit under your eyes and any acne spots you have, but something that not a lot of people know about is discoloration in the face. Um, so, as you can see, I'm just gonna go ahead and point it out. I have discoloration around my mouth and like right under my cheeks, a little bit in my forehead. And when you cover those spots up, you're giving your face the ability to highlight your good features because they're not like so color like distracting. Okay, and so once you're happy with that, you're gonna wanna go in with a blush. Now, the reason why I'm doing blush before I do any contour, powder, etc., is because I plan in the future of this video, I had to go with a bit more color on the eyes. And when you have a bit more color on the eyes, you don't want to have as strong of a base and vice versa because you don't want to steal as much attention. And when, you know, you're going to a family party, as I mentioned before, you kind of want to let your natural features shine, like show your mama what she gave you. Like, you know what I'm saying? So you're going to want to go in and take a very light fluffy brush. I'm going in with a bit more of a peach tone kind of color for my face because I want to make this seem a bit more like natural. When I start off putting the blush on, I'm not gonna actually start on the like the rose of the cheeks um, because sometimes I can look a bit too fake and like too much and like it's kind of obvious and it just doesn't work. So you're gonna wanna place your blush a bit like up higher on the cheekbone and then start blending into your cheek, but not like starting on the cheek. Then taking a very similar toned highlighter, so something that kind of complements your blush. So I have chosen kind of like a champagne kind of pink. Now this is a bit kind of like hard to explain, but if you were to go into the store, imagine blush, but shiny, if that makes sense. Um, so as you can see, it's kind of like that, but it's still gonna give my face a good definition. Uh, because if you go in with like a warm kind of highlighter right on top of blush without kind of contour making this seem a bit more like uh, natural glam, then it's gonna look kind of childish. And even though you are a child going to a family gathering, you don't wanna look like it. So taking a bit of that highlighter on my highlighter brush, I'm going to highlight staying kind of further up on the uh, cheekbone, just because I don't wanna look like I'm, you know, a child playing with a makeup kit, you know? <laughs> a little bit of the highlighter up on your finger, you're going to kind of close your eye a bit and hit that inner corner with some some sparkle. Okay, so moving on to brows. Now, I have been messed with some naturally thick brows, uh, meaning I kind of steer away from like liquid products or like liners, like thick ones, um, just because when I try and do all that with my brows, it ends up looking too much. So if you're like me and you have a bit of a thicker brow, um, try brow powder because this stuff right here, I've mentioned it, I think in all three of my videos, um, is magic like it works <laughs> um, and primarily just because you can just go in with like an angled brush as such and just fill in some of the gaps or the holes or maybe give a little bit more line and if it messes up you can wipe it away it's a great product so uh, just taking taking <laughs> that angled brush I'm gonna go in and I usually mix these colors because I can never get the color right with one go uh, going in and I'm just going to usually start off on the back of the brow and then slowly work my way into the front. 
Alrighty, moving on to the bit that I've all been waiting for, the eyeshadow. Now today I want to give myself a bit of an opportunity to play a bit. So I'm going to actually start off with some more uh, fun colors and then the darker color colors like blending in. Um, and so for this look, you're actually only going to need like four brushes. So you're going to need like a big fluffy brush, like about a medium sized fluffy brush, compact one, and a bit of a thinner, tinier compact one. Um, I don't really know how to explain that, but you can kind of see the... Okay, so starting off with the fun color, which I know is going to be kind of scary for some people because you usually want to go in with your natural colors and then work your way up to your like big fun colors. Uh, but today we're actually going to go in with whatever color you feel matches your outfit. You can really still use this, this technique of a look for any color, but I'm going to go in with a more corally kind of orange pink sunset kind of color. Uh, if you can kind of see just picked it up my palette, that's kind of what it would look like. And I'm going to keep this color compact, starting on the outside of my eye, not out here. Like I'm always gonna be in the crease, but on the outside. Um, don't swipe like across your eye, because what tends to happen when you do that is the color like gets overwhelming and it's just like, it looks too much on the eye. So when you keep it compact and on the lid, it stays workable. Um, and when you're working with vibrant colors, it can get dangerous quick. So follow my lead. I'm just taking that brush, staying almost right on top of that crease, almost on the lid. You're just gonna keep lightly pressing in the color, never swiping. You're constantly like picking up your brush, keeping it kind of rounded. Once the majority of the color is stamped on, you're not gonna double dip. You're gonna go and you're gonna slowly, quick back and forth motions, bringing it closer, moving as you move forward, like like into the eye, you're keeping the brush lower on the lid. And once you're happy with that, you're gonna go in and you're gonna pick a color that's kind of, um, it's similar to this color, but it's like two shades darker. So um, for example, if you can kind of see the color, I don't know if that helps, but it might. Uh, you can kind of see that that's around like two shades darker than this one. And I'm just gonna slowly pack on the outer edge of my eye and then leading up into the crease on the outer lid. Now, I know what you're thinking, this is looking way too dark. Trust the process. Uh, because we're actually gonna go in and we're gonna take, um, because I've chosen a bit more of a corally color, we're actually gonna take almost like an orangish pinkish kind of color. And we're gonna start buffing this out with the medium blending brush, just under the eye, not on the top. Staying close on the bottom edge. Remember, we're not blending in. We're keeping this all out to the edge until it's like the perfect like color and like blendedness that we want. And then we're gonna start blending it into the eye. Okay, so as you can see, there's a big difference between this and this. Um, and what I've done is I've taken this that orangish color and I've blended out the bottom, keeping it to the outer rim. And I've gone up on the top and I've made circular motions and blended this out with that color. So it kind of almost looks like this color has faded a bit. So that's exactly what you're gonna do on the other side. Now it's a bit scary when you're first going in because what can tend to happen when you try and do this is the color kind of like keeps getting bigger on the outside. Um, and that's because when we're trying to blend, when we're thinking about it, we're like, oh, okay, so I'll blend it. Like, and you blend on the outer, it, like the outer edge. And what you're supposed to do is actually keep this very inward. You're gonna start right about here. Like if you line your brush up with the like lashes of your eye, that's where you wanna start with like circular motions, going back and forth, making circular motions. And if it ever feels uncomfortable, just retreat back to that crease and I promise it'll all work out. Okay, so once you're satisfied with all the color on your face, because uh, we kind of have a lot on right now, um, you're gonna go back and you're gonna clean off, make sure to clean this off because you do not wanna go in with this with the dark color still on it. Trust me, I made that mistake before. Uh, you're gonna clean off the brush that you used to uh, apply that darker color on the under eye and you're gonna clean it off, as I've just said a million times, um, and you're gonna take it and you're gonna slowly just where that color start like stops Staying in that same area, you're just gonna go quickly back and forth, blending it right there, never going like meeting the inner corner of your eye and then going back, staying in that same spot. And as you can see, that looks a lot less intense. 
now we are ready for the sparkle. We gotta lighten this up just a little bit. So I'm actually going to take a very white cream color before sparkle, apply it on my finger, not a brush, and I'm actually just gonna quickly like swipe it, staying close on the inner corner of my lid, um, to kind of bring back some skin color into this so when I apply the sparkle, it doesn't mix with all my colors. And as you can see, this kind of brought up my eyes just a little bit more. Um, but now it's time to go in with that fun sparkle. So I'm thinking because I'm wearing a bit of a, a bit of gold, um, I'm going to go in with a more of a warm kind of sparkle. A little tip, when you want your sparkle to stand out more, um, you're going to actually want to pick up your sparkle on your finger. And I honestly couldn't tell you why that works a lot better than put, applying it with a brush. I just know that when you sweep glitter, like across your lid it gets like very spread out and you can kind of see these undercolors um, and unless there's a light on you you can't really see it so with the finger you really get all that pigment so you're going to take that finger and just apply it to your lid blending a bit up with it and As you can kind of see it, you can see more of the color with the glitter. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and curl my lashes and apply some mascara and the eyes are done. Okay, so once you are done with the eyes and feeling flawless, uh, we can now actually go in with the lips. Now, because we went a little bit lighter on the base and more fun with the eyes, uh, we can actually pull color from the eyes uh, with the lips. And the reason that is is because it's not gonna overwhelm as much as it's going to like complete the look. Uh, and so I'm actually going to go in with this kind of lip duo thing. And I think I used it a different color in my last video, but um, for some reason I'm kind of obsessed with these. So um, if you don't have one of them, they're actually at Dollar Tree. Go check them out. Um, anyway, so it's kind of a bit of a like reddish kind of turquoise pink, uh, but it kind of was going to go with the eye. So just going in with that. And that everyone is your 20 minute or less makeup look series. So I hope you guys had so much fun following along and that these have been a big help and a big time saver. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time on Mandala Makeup. Bye everyone.